So good morning and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sarah Van Meter. I am your incoming program quality director and current division B director. Part of my responsibilities is to empower all of you, whether you're a club officer, an area director potential, or a future division director of how to use some of the great resources we have at Toastmaster International plus our district website as a bonus. Before I get started, just wanted to share a couple of things. There is no attendance at the end of this uh, session, so you don't have to sign in anything. This is a elective. I also will be sharing with you my slides as well as um, this recording if you wanna replay it. A uh, Couple things that I'm going to focus on, if sorry to make you sick as we scan through the information, is what I'm going to focus on today is give you a tour of Club Central and dashboards. If you're anything like me where you started about, you know, five years ago, some of the stuff you kind of had to self-teach or maybe you really don't understand until you start getting into higher levels. So we wanted to take the opportunity to walk you through some of these tools of what is used to kind of help you kind of Take, a, take your blood pressure with your club of how things are going. Are you at the right area? And make sure you're comfortable. So what I would like to succeed in doing is I wanna focus on three things with you. The first thing is how to leverage the Toastmaster International Dashboard to benefit your club. Number two, I wanna share with you some of the club central tips and tricks. Plus, I'll do a little teaser. If you ever want to be on the executive team and get some leadership experience, we'll talk very briefly about the district central tips. The last thing I wanted to share with you, which I will be honest, this is something new for me that I didn't know was out there, was the Toastmaster resources. There is tons of content out there, whether it's documentation library, videos, or even new things like branding is really interesting that they have it all prepped and ready for you to go. So you don't have to Google it. You can go to the website and we'll do a little bit of an orientation of that together very soon. So if I'm successful today, hopefully you take something away with, you know, how to do your blood pressure with the dashboard, some tricks, <laughs> and tricks with the Club Central and how to find some ways to help you succeed in your improvement of yourself um, for public speaking or leadership skills or confidence overall. So let's start our journey real quick. So how many of you have heard of the Toastmaster dashboard? I'm gonna rely on Andrew to say lots of hands up, lots of thumbs up. Uh, Cheryl, I see your hand is raised. Do you have a question? Or hand is up because she says, yes, she knows the dashboard, sorry. This is awkward because I can't see you guys while I'm presenting. But the Toastmaster dashboard, like I said, Think of it as a blood pressure uh, testing machine. It's telling you throughout the year, are you on target? Are you doing the right things to have a thriving club? Yes, sometimes people feel like, oh, all we care about is numbers and you know, getting to it, but it's actually a whole lot more. It's something that um, helps you succeed with your club mission. Um, which is providing a mutually supportive environment for members to grow. So before we get into what all these different sections mean on my screen, let's talk how to get to the dashboard. Well, the Toastmaster dashboard, you can get to it, well, a couple of ways. But what we're going to focus on today is if you open up the Toastmaster International webpage, the Toastmaster International webpage, and this is a live link, you'll see this screen. You don't even have to log into Toastmasters International. This is all accessible by anyone. If you scroll to where it says Leadership Central and click where it says uh, Distinguished Performance Reports, then you'll see a screen that says type in club name and then you can see your club report. But there's also other layers you can see from this dashboard page. You can also see your area report, you can see your division report and district. But right now I'm guessing most of you are probably club officers, but we'll do a little teaser for the others. 
real quick, let me pull up the dashboard and we can play around with it a little bit. We'll get back to the slides. So anyone remember how I can pull up the Toastmaster dashboard? It'd be more fun if you guys respond back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get to the dashboard for my club by going to um, Club Central. Mm -hmm. And then I got it open right now. And then probably once that opens up, I go to the Distinguished Club Plan, I believe. Yep. And then it tells me I need to do select my district, District 8. And then I can go over to the tab, club status, and mm -hmm. I can see what's going on. Yep. Yeah, there's, you're right, Maureen. There's many ways you can go. Everyone has a different way. We can get there from our district website. It, it can be when you're logged into Toastmasters, it goes right to your club. Um, it can even be, uh, you can even find links from, oh, I already said District 8, um, but you don't have to log in. But typically, if you just Google to Toastmaster dashboard, this is what comes up. So you'll, well, actually, you won't see this. You'll actually see um, Toastmasters as a whole. But if we center down into the District 8, or let's say, I'm going to be a little, we'll, we'll pull up my home club here. So if I want to see my club name, I can either just type in noontime and it can pull up all the clubs. Or if I know my club number, I could just type in my club number and it will just pull up that club. When you see your Toastmaster dashboard, um, there's a lot of great information here. Some of the information that you see is, you know, what, what is your club a part of? Um, I will share that up until I went to my first officer training, which was, I want to say about four years ago, I didn't know anything about areas, divisions, districts, region, even the region, I will tell you, I'm learning about right now as your incoming program quality director. But there's a lot of support that's out there. You are not on an island by yourself as a club officer, or even if you're an area director or division director. These, these numbers are really important because it tells you who is there to support you. If we go to our District 8 website and you pull up your Area 18 director, you would see a picture of Keith Jamerson from Shalom Toastmasters. He provides support to four clubs. The division director would, would be the person who oversees Keith and the other area directors of that division who supports your club. The district is led by your executive leadership team, what is called the TRIO, which consists of your program quality director, your district director, and your club growth director, who are all, again, there to help you succeed and to be your reinforcements when you need it, whether it's help with uh, programming or membership, they are there for you. So this is just information about what your club belongs to. Over here on the right, this talks more about your Club Distinguished Goals. Now, Club Distinguished Goals are where Toastmasters wants you to be in order to be what they call uh, healthy clubs. To be a- Can I interrupt you? Oh, yes, Maureen. I don't think your screen is showing what you're talking about. We're stuck on yeah. the online okay. dashboard. I apologize for that. Thank you, Maureen and Andrew. I thought it was sharing. All right, can you guys see the dashboard now? Yes. All right, thank you, Maureen. Appreciate it. I am assuming, ah. I apologize. So we, over here was the club alignment of, you know, information about your club. And now I'm over here in the goals. So the goals, in order to you know, meet distinguished status, you have to have five goals. Um, and it can be any of these 10 listed down here, which we'll get to in just a moment. To be select distinguished, you need seven goals. And to be present as distinguished, you need to be nine goals. Now, let me tell you a secret that I was never told. Yes, if you hit goals, that's great. But there's another thing that is required. The other thing that's required is this middle box right here about membership. What you'll see is you'll see the base, which is the number of 
uh, members in your club starting on July 1st. If you're over 20, that's great, and you maintain over 20, guess what? You've already met, uh, met the requirement um, for membership before even completing your goals. So you have that box check. Now, let's say my base here is at 10. In that situation, my goal is I need to get a net growth of at least five new members, or if even better, try to get to 20 members. Um, in order to be qualified for a distinguish set, select distinguish or president's distinguish. Another scenario, let's say I'm at 18 as my base. Um, today, I have gotten four people to join, so I'm at 22. Do you think I will be distinguished if I complete five goals? Any thoughts? Yes, I think you will because you went beyond your base. You've got how many people? 22. So you met that required 20. Yep. So yes, you can get any of the goals. Yep. So I would be qualified as long as I got my five goals. Thank you, Maureen. You get a gold star for participation points. Thank you. <laughs> um, other key things I wanted to point to is you have information about when your club was chartered. So if you ever have like any big anniversaries coming up with your club, this is a great day to know when you're hitting a milestone uh, anniversary. So um, my club celebrated 30 years last year. St. Clair uh, Toastmasters, they're celebrating 75 years this year, uh, actually uh, next week. Um, so cheers to you guys if you're out there on the line. But now let's go into a little bit more of the sections of the goals. And I'm going to pause real quick. Andrew, any questions in chat or anything? Sorry, having trouble unmuting. I do not see, let me see. Uh, no, I don't see any in chat right now. All right, perfect. Thank you, Andrew. So let's talk a little bit about the goals and what they mean. Um, so I'm going to give you the inside as traders information that I wish I got earlier on. So there's 10 goals that we have. The first six goals are more about your uh, self-improvement as a Toastmaster. What it is, is in order to improve, I think we all agree, we have to give speeches. A way that Toastmasters tracks our, uh, our, our performance in our clubs is are you completing projects? Are you completing levels and pathways? If you are, you know, if you attended Rhonda Green's great base camp uh, training, you'll recall that once you complete a level one, you would go into base camp manager. You would approve that status if you're either the president, secretary, or VPE. And then you would go into Club Central and you would uh, submit that educational award. The key here for these six educational goals is you want different people of your club. You want everyone being active. They set kind of minimum pars, like in a golf course, of what to hit. You know, you want four level ones, two level twos, and so forth. But you, you want to at least meet the minimum, if not go over and beyond. So you have most of your members being engaged in the club, as well as if you have great numbers, it if, if falls naturally into attracting new members because one thing I have learned over the years is if you have someone who's checking out Toastmasters and they see someone who is very similar to themselves, whether it's a shy person, it's a nervous person who sits there like this, or it's someone that you think oh my gosh, they're an amazing speaker. They can't have any issues I have. And then they share, yeah, I was really nervous or I was really vulnerable or I'm really struggling with this technique. That person will see that growth and that person will join, chances are, and will grow as well. So the things we're looking for, again, you want six educational goals. You can have any configuration of those um, of those six to meet, you know, the distinguished, select distinguished. Toastmasters International is not looking for 
you know, X amount of education, X amount of membership. All they care about is, do you have those 20 members and that net growth of five new members plus any kind of configuration down here of five, seven, or nine? The last two elements is what you guys are doing today. So the training piece. The training is about leadership growth. You know, those people who are volunteering their time to help their club succeed, help the district succeed, or other clubs support. So when your president, your secretary turns in their club officer list um, at the end of this month, if they haven't already done so, you, you get a, a, a credit here on um, goal number 10. And then you attending today's uh, TLI, you're getting credit for your club. We want to have as all seven officers train if we can, but if you can just have four, it's, it's better than nothing, especially if you um, have never done this role before. It's a great way to reach out to other people and to learn. The other goal, goal number 10, is the administration goal. The administration goal is making sure you have do, dues turn on, in on time as well as that club officer list. Um, what, what, we, what we suggest is as soon as you have eight members that have turned in their dues, Submit it to TI so you stay a strong, healthy club in their eyes and you don't get on any list. It's the best way once you get the eight, you're good to go. And it means that you don't have to worry about missing the deadline. You get your check mark box. You only need to submit membership renewals and club officer lists just once. My club or a semi-annual club, that's why there's two. Any questions about the goals? or any comments you would like to add on. Where do we go to make sure we have our club officers list in the system? Because we just had the election. Yeah, um, if that will be okay with you, I will share share that with you in just a moment. I'm gonna put a pin into sure. it and uh, I will make sure I, I highlight that for you, for you. All right, great, thank you. No, no worries, it's a good ad. I just don't wanna jump around. I, I, I've gotten feedback in the past, jumping around, you get lost, and then you're, I will come right back. It's coming up real soon. I have Any a other? question. Oh, yes, go right ahead. Yeah, so um, where you were on the previous screen, there you go. Yep. Um, can you tell who completed uh, in each section? So, for example, you've got level three award. Uh, where'd it go? Level three award, you have, so your goal was two and you got three. Is there a place you can go to find what three members met that goal? So personally, and I'm also going to kind of lean on Andrew here a little bit, how I how I go about it is um, I, I, can, I uh, track all my members' progress. So I have an Excel sheet with all my members with their levels. And whenever I submit something into uh, Basecamp and then Club Central, I check it and make sure that it populates here. So you won't actually see on the dashboard which three are your level three awards. You would have to do some digging into either a uh, base camp manager or if you keep your own kind of administrative uh, uh, documents. So th the other thing I would caution you is um, every month there's a delay of maybe 10 days at the beginning of the month where it doesn't populate. So be patient and check for it to come. And if you don't see that check mark show up, then there's some there's some some stuff you must you could have forgotten, whether the system didn't take that submission or you forgot to submit it to Club Central because Club Central is what populates that. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I think basically the the VPE has to keep a spreadsheet or something off to the side where they can keep keep a toll or keep track of who did what. So if yeah. there's something you know electronically that's tracking that as someone completes it. So yeah, that's perfect. So, so, so if I can jump in for a second, there is one place you can go if you are a club officer to get some addition to to kind of do it, but you kind of it'll give you the list. Mm -hmm. And that is if you go to Club Central and administrative reports, one of the administrative reports is past and present education awards. 
And so all of the ones that TI still has a track on, it only goes back so far. It will those will all be available to you. And so then you can just sort by date and you'll know which ones were in this calendar year then. Okay. Thank you. That's what I just popped in my head, Andrew. Thank you for helping me out there. <laughs> so before we jump to Club Central and show you how to submit your club officer list, we'll look at that report that Andrew was just sharing with Lynn. Um, let's do a couple exercises real quick with this dashboard. I know we've done it a couple of times, but I'll give you a cheat sheet. Okay. So remember, to be distinguished, you need five goals. You must have at least 20 members or a net growth of five new members. Select distinguish, seven goals, plus the membership at the bottom. President distinguished, you need nine goals. All right, let's do some scenarios. Let's test you know, your savviness with reading this dashboard. I have eight goals completed, 20 members, a part of my club. What, what status will I get on my dashboard? Eight goals, 20 members. Select distinguished. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you. You are correct. <laughs> Let's start another example. I started the year off with a base of 14 members. Um, I've completed five goals and I've had a, I've grown to 19 members. What am I qualified for? How many goals? Five goals, Maureen. Distinguished. Distinguished, that is correct, perfect. Another example and then we'll move on unless you guys wanna exercise some more. Um, I started the year with 16 members, but unfortunately we're down to eight members now. I've completed 10 goals. Am I eligible for a uh, award? No. You need no. Yeah, no. no. Not I'm only. Not if you met 10 goals, you've recruited eight people. No, nope, those I, are the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if I if I attract eight members, yes. But unfortunately, in this situation, I started the year at 16, 16 and yeah. then I dropped my point was that, that my point was that's a new club. Basically, all your members <laughs> left and you have eight new members. Yeah. Oh. And in that situation, that's when you should be calling, you know, your area director, your division director you know, the club growth director or the program quality director and say, hey, I need help. I need club coach. We need to do some um, PR and we need to try to get it help because at eight, that's when you start getting into that danger zone. But also remember, you know, right now we're at the beginning of June. So look at your dashboard today, figure out where you are. You can, you can still get members. You can still meet these goals. And remember, there's resources available for you. You have your fellow Toastmasters who can come be a club coach, whether it's a new club, existing club. Um, anyone can get a club close coach with less than 12 members. Um, your area directors and division directors are visiting you to make sure you're doing well and to be that main artery to you to help you succeed in thriving as a club. Any questions or comments about the dashboard and reading the report. Andrew, anything in chat? <laughs> Not at this time, just uh, Kayla was responding to some of your questions as far as what you were asking, whether clubs were distinguished. I appreciate it. All right. And then just a teaser for those of you who are interested in becoming a part of the executive team of District 8, there's also reports where we can see performance at the area division level. So this is an example of that performance dashboard report. You also have access to this if you want to, if you're a competitive club and you want to see how you're performing against other clubs. Um, all you have to do is click that tab where it says area and division, and then you can see this information. So I'm right now showing division A. Um, it shows the goals for Division A up at the upper right of your screen. And then if you want to look at a specific area, you can um, go to that area and it will tell you who's in your area, as well as have you turned your renewals on time? Have you had a club visit? And then they look at that membership and club goals. But 
Again, there'll be more training on this if you're an area or division director, but I wanted to give that tease that being a leader in our uh, district is really rewarding because you help clubs grow and thrive. And plus you get best ideas, you know, to take back to your club to make your club even better. What happens if you don't, you know, I'm looking at our area 12 and you know, we haven't had a club visit in May. So no, none of the clubs in my our area have had a club visit. So um, club visits, I know we're past that point. One thing we're going to be better about next year is making sure that area directors and division directors are very active. Um, so um, one thing we can do is you can request for Area 12 um, or, or your club to have a club visit and one of us can come and visit. Okay. All right. Thanks. I was just noticing that. that yeah. So. And that's one thing with um, that we've been getting kind of, you know, not bad on, but just, you know, it's an area we have to improve. You know, we've been given a curveball with, you know, going virtual and We've been struggling, but we're ready to come and be a phoenix, you know, rise from the ashes and get better and stronger. Um, and we're going to, we, the trio, as well as Andrew on the educational committee, we're going to give you all the resources you need to be successful. Art's very active in club growth, attracting people to Toastmasters. So help is on its way. We just need, we need to know who needs the help. We have the numbers, but the numbers only tell us so much if that helps. Thank well, you. One other thing I want to add to that with the with the club visits is that some of you might have said, well, my area director set up a visit and they did come and visit, but it didn't show they that that happened. Note that the area directors have a report that they have to fill out. And Toastmasters does not consider the visit complete until that report has been submitted. Yeah. So just in case you're like, well, I thought our area, our area director did visit us during that period. If they didn't get that report in, then Toastmasters does not see it as a completed visit. Yeah. I know I have about 13 minutes left. 18 minutes left if you count the extra five minutes. And then I, I wanted to do a, a teaser of even at the district level, there's numbers that we're watching. So it's we, we are we're trying to improve because um, usually we're, we're a lot higher, but again, we've been we're, we're working through a lot of things and it will get better. Um, so I wanted to provide that information so you can see the different levels and know that there's a lot of stuff. Um, happening behind the scenes to support you. Any other questions or comments about uh, your your performance dashboard or anything I could have missed? <laughs> if okay. not, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say so often when I go to Toastmasters International, there's some kind of glitch in the system, can't enter it at the time or whatever. Are they... Mm -hmm thinking that that's all going to be corrected here pretty soon so right now, <laughs> right now with uh toastmasters international yes they as you guys know they've recently updated their i guess operating system so there's a lot of things down um this morning if you were in president's training with uh, jim sala and i um the education it's hard to submit your education not your education i apologize your officer list because it's not working if there are issues please let the trio know um and we will uh make we'll stay on it don't keep bothering toastmaster international because um they, know they have a problem oh go ahead but in a perfect world if I can log in and type, hold on one second. My officer list just worked for Will Hills. Oh, it worked for you, Tim? It just, it just said it worked, yeah. 
Perfect. One thing we learned this morning um, is if it's not working right now, remember everyone right now is trying to submit their edu their <laughs> officer lists. Those officer lists, if it doesn't work today, try tomorrow or try later in the day. Eventually we'll go through, it's the same situation as our club dues um, when it's those periods of time they're getting a lot of information and they get kind of uh, busy. Um, but let me walk you through a little bit about Club Central. And thank you, uh, Tim, for sharing that it does work. It's just a lot of information. So to access Club Central, um, you have to log in to Toastmasters International. So you use whatever email that is a part uh, when you register. Um, and then whatever password you set up. If you forget your username and password, there's guidance of how to get that information resolved. Lean on your VPE and presidents. Um, they can also look up your email. They just can't change the password for you. You'd have to go through the prompts. But once you log into Club Central, some of the information you have here is, is pretty good. So let me click Club Central. I'll do a quick little tour. Um, if you are a VPM of a club, this is where you would submit the application. So this would handle any, any member that is brand new to Toastmasters, any member that is joining as a um, duplicate, as not duplicate, as a multiple club. It could be reinstated members um, where you have to look up their number and get them entered in the system. This is also where your treasurer would submit the payment. Um, for any kind of memberships, whether it's new or existing. This is where your VPE would submit the educational awards or the president and or uh, secretary. So again, I wanna preface that saying that clubs, um, officers uh, have sometimes different responsibilities. So, um, you know, in my club, sometimes the president does this, sometimes the VPM does this. Um, usually president has access to all this, but um, some of these things like the educational award that can be done by the VPE, the uh, president or the secretary because they have to have some overlap because they can't submit their own awards. Here is club roster. This is really important. This is a quick way to tell if everyone has uh, started their pathways adoption um, without going into pathways and seeing all the different information. And uh, Rhonda Green did a great job with the base camp manager if you want to get more information about um, uh, pathways in, in general. Down here is where you get into more information. So to answer, I believe it was Lynn's question earlier, how to submit club officer assignments. All you have to do is click here under club officer assignment. See if it helps. It's thinking, it's thinking. <laughs> um, well, let's think out quickly, run through this other stuff. Um, other key, key things, you can see your di distinguished performance report. So again, another way to get to that report we just went over for the first half of our class. Here also is how you can print club awards and achievements. Um, so this is where you can get some of that club information that Andrew was uh, hinting about earlier. If you wanna check if a club member is eligible for a speech contest, you can just click here for eligibility assistant and we'll do that review. And then this one's very important, club contact and meeting information. That's how future prospective Toastmasters find out information about your club and it's really important we keep that up to date. Last thing, um, administrative reports. This is where you can um, print reports on current and historical club information, such as you know how many levels someone has completed, um, any kind of special mentions that the club has had. That's where that is. And last but not least, you have your club success plan. Um, this is where you would submit it to a TI so you could uh, meet that incentive. Apologize, club officers running a little slow. Let me try one other thing. And if you click on this, you'll see two tabs. You'll see what's currently in there right now. And then on the other tab, you'll see the future uh, window of, ah, see, I don't have to paint the picture for everyone. So this is live data. This is the per this is the future. So this is my current who is currently um, 
the executive team for Toastmaster for New Time Toastmasters. To do the future, it would be very simple. All you would have to do is you would click who the persons are. So I'm going to do this real live because we just did our election. Uh, let's see here. I don't remember all of them, but you would click their names. And then once all the names are entered here, you would hit save. And once it's, you see the green come across, that means it was submitted. Um, it's a good practice to print this off um, who you submitted to TI for documentation purposes, um, just to confirm that it was put in the system. Um, my club's uh, semi-annual, so that's why you don't see the one year, it's six months, but that's how you would submit uh, club officer assignments. Does that help? <clears throat> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can say ours is done. <laughs> Perfect. And typically, um, it's usually either the secretary or president who does that. But sometimes, I don't know if all the officers have access to that. Uh, other key things I would like to share, make sure I'm not jumping over anything. The other thing I wanted to do a quick teaser um, before I go over our resource, resource page, excuse me, is Leadership Central. So um, in the Leadership Central, there's also a tool for District Central. So if you are a incoming area director or division director, you too have a lot of tools that are available here. Um, these tools that are available here is how you submit your area visit report, it's how you can see any leads about potential clubs in your district. You can see what awards the district has received. You can um, log club officer training data. So um, division directors and uh, district directors, or sorry, not district, the trio, we can um, give you credit for officer training. We can also pull reports of membership in the district and area or division. Again, we have another link to distinguished performance report, many ways to get to it. And then we can look at pathway adoption rate. Um, division success plan, that's another thing we have access to where we can submit it in. Any questions about the central tools? Okay, perfect. So the last thing I wanna share with you um, in the last uh, eight minutes is this resource tab. So this resource tab is really interesting. If you just click it, come on, Toastmasters don't fail me now. <laughs> um, the resource tab has a lot of great tools here. First of all, um, you can get tips, um, about public speaking. You can see a video library of all different tutorials that can use you for instruction, inspirational encouragement. So it's a lot better than YouTube sometimes. You can also go down here to frequently use resources where you can see um, uh, the library of, and I'll click on it, bear with me. not cooperating, but we'll keep going. You can um, see videos, you can see articles, common things that people use. Um, you can also see um, tools and resources. Um, other key things that I wanna point to is there's information under a resource library where you can pull it up in any language and you can be very specific of what you're looking for. So if you wanna get ahead on the speech context rule book for next year, you can find that here. If you wanna find tools like your application or, or whatever, um, that information is found here. And then you can get it in any language that you need and then pull it. Um, and that all that information is here. Other key things I wanted to point to is the brand portal. Now. Oh, did someone have a question? I apologize. So the brand portal is making sure you use the Toastmaster name properly. So whenever you use Toastmaster, Toastmaster International or Pathways, 
you have to make sure we're following the brand portal advice. So this is where you can get guides on um, pre pre-made forms that you can use for your club, for contests, for marketing. Um, it can also be PowerPoints, um, brochures that you hand out. This is a great area where you know you're within compliance. One key thing is Toastmaster is very protective of their brand. So there's very specific colors, um, ways the images can be displayed um, to make sure we stay out of trouble. Um, but all that information is here in these tabs. There's even actually a class you can take about how to properly use the brand. Go ahead. Was there a question? And the last bit of information before I open up for questions or comments that I wanted to share, I just want to double check you guys can still see my screen since I popped between. Can you see District 8, most helpful pages? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. So another thing I would really stress that I think we need to do um, is do a tutorial at District 8 website. So District 8 website, it's really nice. Um, you can learn a lot of things. If you allow me real quick, you should see District 8 on your screen, correct, Andrew? Yes. Yeah, perfect. So key things to know, if you want to know about any great events coming up, you know, there's our award celebration. Anyone's eligible to go and attend. Um, pretty much we're going to be uh, awarding people who are Triple Crowns, Distinguished Toastmasters of the Year Awards. It's a great way to meet other Toastmasters. Um, if you want to know who your area director is or your division directors, um, all of them are listed here. So again, all of these people here are here to help you. Um, and the new, the new group of people will be popu populating up. So um, reach out to these people. They are there to help you. They are doing their best trying to help you. Other key things is our Toastmaster calendar. That's when you can tell when all the events are. Um, tomorrow, all the makeup officer trainings, so any of your colleagues um, in your club who haven't, haven't attended, those classes will be popped up and we have one um, scheduled here in two weeks. We also have listed our uh, deck meetings, our business meetings, um, speech contests, any kind of special events, this is where you can find that information. The last thing I, um, a couple other things I wanted to share is resources. Under resources, there's a ton of stuff that our district has done to make your life easier. So if you need information about, uh, about what all the stuff means for a member, find table topics. It could even be, you know, what do you need as a club officer? Again, your distinguished uh, club performance report. That's another way you can get to it. Same thing for uh, districts, there's resources galore, club marketing, there's more information. And then um, whenever we have a conference, you'll see that in our training, resources for contests and uh, our hall of fame. So it's a lot of great information. Plus you can see us here um, in our social media. Um, so I will share with you this deck, which walks through all the stuff I um, did hands on with you. I hope you got something out of it, whether some new ways to kind of look at that dashboard to improve, you know, your that blood pressure of your club, um, some tips and tricks of Club Central or District Central, if you're an eager leader uh, in the making and some great resources. Is there any questions or comments that I can help you guys with? I did have a question sure. that I forgot his name already. Andrew, yeah. you brought up that we can see who got what awards during the year and where can we find that? I can share my screen and show it to you real quick, Maureen, cool. a moment. Uh, so if you go to Leadership Central, Club Central, wait for the little ball to go. There's a administrative reports, if it loads. Um, so scroll down to the very bottom, administrative reports. Okay. And then what you can do is 
click past and present educational awards. There are so many reports Toastmasters have both on the dashboard and in Club Central. We could do another class of that. So what you can do is you can, as I assume, search for a specific name and you can see um, that member's performance. So as I know I exist. So this is every all the awards I've had since I've been a Toastmaster since 2018. Um, so same thing, you know, if there's, you're, if you download that into the Excel file. Yeah, go ahead. I'm doing it right now, Bernie. And then, then you can sort it by the date and that will give you what you've gotten this year and you can delete the, anything prior to that. And that's the report you, you're trying to work with. Yep. Now that's just for you, not your entire club. I, I think it's because I had the filter of me on okay. it. Let me go right. back. Well, I'm one of those people. Let's try to break the system. So I'm clicking, <laughs> I'm clicking Excel. So right now it should be pulling up all of our members information because I don't have anything in the search screen. All right. Now, the other kicker is those other reports that you have, they're there charter members and past officers. If you're having an anniversary celebration or trying to do an, an open house, those are people you want to reach out and invite back and That's see if cool. someone might want to reactivate a membership or yeah. know someone to refer you to. So that should be used as membership also. No, that's a great, that's a great tip, Bernie. Thank you for sharing. But as you can see, all the information is here, even our old system. Great. Any other questions or comments or best practices we can share to each other? If not, I have, thank you for hanging out with me one minute extra. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. I will send you my slides with all those links in the recording and um, let me know how I can assist you. Thank you, Andrew, for being my uh, monitor, and I will see you guys um, around this next Toastmaster year. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.